it's tough sometimes, you know. I'm so used to playing midfield, uh, so I'm kind of got every aspect of that, whether it be right winger, left winger, and centre. So that's pretty normal when I'm asked to step in on right back or if I'm left back for a few seconds. It's it's tough. It's like a different world out there for me. So it's like I'm thinking a lot more. So I have to kind of mentally before the game give myself reminders, like check the line, to, you know, if we're playing offside or watch the right winger, but open your body up, things like that. So it's kind of like drumming stuff into my head to make sure in the game I've got it and it's hard you know sometimes especially if it's like I play midfield one game and the next game I play right back it becomes more a mental thinking game than it's a football game so it's hard it's more about concentration and things like that uh, but you know as I said midfield is pretty easy for me because I've played that my whole life so just when I step into back line it's a little more tricky and takes a lot more thought. I first became a vegan because I found out I was coming to MLS, I was told I was going to sign for Vancouver, so at the time I had a really bad diet, I used to eat lots of Chick-fil-A, drink lots of Coke, uh, lots of milkshakes, stuff like that, and uh, one of my friends on the team actually became vegan, so once I found out I was going to play in MLS, I wanted to give myself the best chance to stay in MLS, so I asked him about it, uh, told me a bit about it, I did some research, stuff like that, and me and him started it together, so we just kind of keep each other in check and help each other out what to do, and once I got it, it was pretty easy. Uh, <coughs> I guess the, some of the biggest challenges are some of the guys on the team, they really kill me about it and rub it in my face and always trying to make me eat things that I shouldn't and stuff like that and just make fun of me. But uh, I guess the other thing at first it was about learning what I could eat because lots of things have dairy in which you wouldn't necessarily think of dairy in if you didn't think about it. Uh, so kind of just getting to know what I could and couldn't eat and uh, finding enough protein is another challenge. And uh, I'm now I'm like nearly three years in so I'm kind of used to it. but. Uh, it's been tricky and there's been times that I've thought, you know, I'd love, I love eggs, stuff like that. I would love to have some eggs, but I kind of just, I think if I'm not disciplined, I'll let myself slip here and there, I'll, I'll just lose it all together. So I'll just stay on time myself. Would you rather have a cheeseburger or a steak right now? Cheeseburger. What is your ideal vegan meal? Uh, I would say quinoa with tofu on top and like a curry sauce. What can you not live without, TV or internet? Internet. What do you put in your oatmeal? Usually cranberries and some brown sugar. What's your go-to music during travel? Hip hop. Uh, a specific artist? Uh, Kendrick Lamar. If you're a superhero, what would your power be? Uh, invisibility. What do you prefer after games, ice bath or massage? Ice bath. Favorite pre-match meal? Oh, I'm gonna say beans on toast. Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram? Well, What kind of accent would you say you have? Uh, Midlands. How much do you dislike Spurs? 100%. <laughs>